Does vaping cause high blood pressure? Most people are aware that smoking cigarettes is bad for their health. According to the American Heart Association, traditional cigarettes harm nearly every organ system in the body, including important organs like the heart and lungs. Electronic vaping cigarettes have emerged as a viable alternative to regular cigarettes in recent years. E-cigarettes are gaining popularity, particularly among high school students and young adults. Many young people have begun vaping without fully comprehending the health dangers associated with this practice. The purpose of this article is to synthesize the evidence about the health dangers linked with e-cigarettes and long-term vaping, notably vaping and blood pressure. Does vaping 0 mg nicotine raise blood pressure? Many people who want to stop smoking turn to vaping as a healthier alternative. However, nicotine is found in both traditional cigarettes and electronic cigarettes. Nicotine is not just a harmful substance, but it is also extremely addictive. It causes cravings and withdrawal symptoms in smokers. Nicotine has also been linked to increased blood pressure and heart rate, as well as an increased risk of a heart attack in smokers. Is it safe to vape 0 mg nicotine? The truth is that there are numerous unknowns around e-cigarettes. Aside from nicotine, there are thousands of other compounds in e-cigarette vapor, the majority of which are currently unknown. It is unknown how these substances influence heart rate and blood pressure, as well as the risk of coronary heart disease. As a result, while using e-cigarettes is a more tempting alternative to traditional cigarette smoking, it still puts you at risk of elevated heart rate and blood pressure, as well as a higher risk of having a heart attack than non-smokers. Vape users should be aware that e-cigarettes might be harmful to their health. Aside from cardiovascular disease and heart health, there is accumulating evidence associating vaping to COPD, asthma, and lung cancer. In a word, when you use an electronic cigarette, you expose yourself to a slew of chemicals, the effects of which we don't fully comprehend and are most likely dangerous. How do e-cigarettes affect heart health? Clinical research has shown that e-cigarettes can cause oxidative stress, mutations, heart cell dysfunction, inflammation of the blood vessels, endothelial dysfunction, inner lining of the blood vessels, vasospasm, narrowing of the blood vessels, platelet aggregation and increased risk of blood clots, hypertension, high blood pressure, tachycardia, increased heart rate, artery stiffening, and atherosclerosis, cholesterol death. However, the consequences of e-cigarettes on heart health are significantly less severe than those of smoking traditional cigarettes. How long after vaping does blood pressure go down? According to research, blood pressure remains raised for around 30 minutes after inhaling nicotine via an e-cigarette. More research is required, but we do know that the acute effects on heart rate and blood pressure are significant, particularly in patients who already have hypertension, high blood pressure, Given that e-cigarette users inhale 20 times each day on average, the effect of e-cigarettes elevating blood pressure for 30 minutes becomes even more significant. Notably, several research have indicated that the acute increase in systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, and heart rate dilutes over time, implying that a person may adjust over time and not experience the same degree of raised blood pressure as originally. Which is worse for blood pressure? vaping or smoking traditional cigarettes. According to the research, electronic cigarettes raise total cardiovascular risk while being a lesser evil than traditional tobacco products. Experts caution that the goal of maximizing heart health should be to avoid all tobacco and nicotine products. What are the risks of using vape products? Nearly 3,000 cases of e-cigarette or vaping use associated lung injury, Avali, have been reported to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, with nearly 70 deaths as a result of this ailment. People who modify vaping devices or receive e-liquid from illicit sources are more likely to contract Avali. THC-containing vaping products are very harmful. Another worrying ingredient found by the CDC is vitamin E acetate, a thickening factor in THC vaping products that has been related to Avali. Should you use electronic cigarettes, vaping, to quit smoking? Quitting smoking can help with high blood pressure treatment and overall health. However, many cigarette users stop smoking and switch to electronic cigarettes, e-cigarettes, vape pens, and other disposable and non-disposable vaping devices. 
This appears to be a simple approach to transition from smoking to complete cessation. However, authorities advise against using e-cigarettes or vaping while attempting to quit smoking. While e-cigarettes expose you to fewer dangerous chemicals than traditional cigarettes, they are not the most effective method of quitting smoking. E-cigarette users can get larger nicotine doses than traditional smokers by using extra strength cartridges or boosting the voltage on the device. E-cigarettes and vape pens have been related to hypertension, heart disease, evoli, and other health problems. Keep in mind that e-cigarettes are not certified smoking cessation products by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. The CDC does not recommend that anyone use e-cigarettes to quit smoking. If you want to quit smoking for good, talk to your doctor about a safe and effective smoking cessation program.